Hey guys, welcome back. Now you remember a week ago or so, I had that one beautiful female Nandu Trichipepii. You don't know if it's beautiful yet because I never even showed it to you. And that order that came in from Tarantula Canada. Well today, finally the rack's pretty much ready to go except for the lighting, but we can start setting up these terrariums and get her into a nice beautiful, nice enclosure. Stay tuned. <music> Now, if you find yourself as fascinated as I do by the incredible diversity of life that surrounds us in our absolutely amazing and wonderful world, then you belong here with me. I make videos on all facets of nature, aquariums and vivariums, reptiles, isopods, insects, arachnids, unique plants, and all sorts of DIY projects. Now, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as ringing that little notification bell, and you'll always be kept up to date when I upload new content. So here's one of those 12 by 12 by 12. This one happens to be a zoom ed enclosure. And the one big difference between the zoom ed versus the exoterra is the zoom ed have an entire full door. These are one of the ones that we've installed the cork background. So you can see the background's fully in place, ready to go. Now we've got all sorts of botanicals. We've got some plant material. We've got some hides. So let's get to it and get this one started. pretty pleased with that. We have a beautiful little Calanthea macoyana, and that is a Brazilian plant. It's going to go well with a Brazilian species. It's a little bit, everything's a little bit damp right now because I just sprayed everything down, but her enclosure here will be nice and dry. She should choose to go there. The only thing I don't like is the eyesore is that water dish, but it's the water dish temporarily right now. I have a bunch of uh, water dishes and things coming, mail order, that have not arrived yet to be a much more natural looking thing, and I think that'll be the next step. The one more thing I do want to add to the enclosure to make it a bit more bioactive is the addition of some springtails. So the springtails will go in there and they'll kind of maintain the environment a little bit better. Don't need a lot. They're pretty easy to culture. I maintain many cultures for doing all my isopods and stuff so forth. And the nice bioactivity is that micro that microfauna is going to go down and help break down all the waste products. So I think next step so let's take a peek at her and let's get her inside. So we've got our catch cup. We've got our paintbrush. The only thing issue with Nandus is uh, Nandus are known for their urticating hairs. So she kicks hairs like crazy probably. But, you know, as I've mentioned before, I like to just get them settled and just let them be themselves. There she is. What a beautiful girl. Look at that. What an outstanding species. Now we're going to have to find a male for her because she is outstanding. Let's tease her out a little bit and get her into her house. Don't kick your hair. Look at that baby. Ooh, she's outstanding. Let's get a close-up. Now I set up this enclosure very specifically with her in mind based on her colorations. I wanted to have a lot of extremely contrasting colors and the bright greens really, really show her off. So if we can get her off of that uh, paper towel. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Get her off the paper towel and onto that moss, she will really, really stand out. But knowing my luck, she's going to run and hide right away. Come on, my girl. You're home. Yeah, you're beautiful and you know it. Come on. No need to kick. Mm 
no need to kick. I built this for you. Come on. Come on, look at that beautiful moss. That probably feel a lot better on your feet than a paper towel. Come on. Come on. I really don't like stressing you out. I just want you to be happy in your new home. Yeah, but you have to let me take the paper towel. There you go. Oh, look at you. This gorgeous terrestrial Brazilian beauty certainly defines the term big hairy spider. Nandu trapepii is actually a fairly recently described species by Eduard Dresco back in 1984 and is known in the trade sometimes by the moniker a Brazilian giant blonde. Not perhaps truly a giant but a very large tarantula nonetheless. Attaining an adult size of six to seven inches this terrestrial species is also known to be an opportunistic burrower. The temperature, temperament of this species, like all other Nandu species, are generally fairly skittish by nature. And all Nandu species are prone to kicking their urticating hairs or setae should they feel threatened. They despise bright light, preferring the darkness of their shelter, and emerging only when dark, wait for their unsuspecting prey to come by. Now thankfully all members of this genera, if raised in captivity from slings, often calm down considerably in one's care. They are an easy, hardy, and somewhat adaptable species. This Brazilian species requires an enclosure with slightly warmer temperatures of 20 to 22 degrees Celsius, 68 to 72 Fahrenheit during the winter months, and increase it a little bit to 27 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees during the summer months. And they require very high humidity of 65 to 75 percent, being ideal. It's a long-lived species, females obtaining 10 to 12 years, whereas males 4 to 5. However, this very striking species surely would be a gem in anyone's collection. Oh, my friends, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm pretty happy with the results of how the cage turned out, and I really couldn't be happier with how absolutely outstanding, breathtaking she truly is. She is an outstanding spider. I look forward to watching her grow, get her a mate, see if we can make some babies. So as always, my friends, thank you for watching. Till next time, stay safe and take care.